Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Thor the Worthy. Yeah, this is a very worthy comic book. There are three, count them, three stories in here. They're kind of epic. <laughs> They're kind of epic. You can see right now, let's start talking about who made this comic book, then we'll get into the book itself. You can see right away that Walter Simonson wrote this story. Kind of wish he penciled the story. That's okay. Mike Hawthorne penciled it instead with Sal Buscema on inks. My God, it feels like the greatest run on comic books ever. Written in a two-year, uh, excuse me, five-year uh, time span on Thor. Yeah, that's right. Most of you guys know that my absolute all-time favorite comic book run ever were those five years that uh, Walter Simonson was doing Thor. So uh, Tamara Bonvillain gets to color this. John Workman doing letters. My God, man, this is this is amazing. Uh, Behold the field we know. That's the name of that particular story. There are two other stories on here also. Uh, Tom DeFalco Run Friends. <laughs> does one of them and uh, uh Catherine Eminen and Tom Riley doing another with you can see all the people involved there Thor was created by Stanley and Jack Kirby this version of Thor so basically we get Sif and Beta Ray Thor Beta Ray Bill back in the days like during uh Simonson's run they're just uh they're hanging out together they're being all lovely you know there was a time when when uh Thor wasn't paying any attention to uh to Sif he never really does he had his, his eyes set on Jane Foster. He wasn't paying any attention to, to Sif, even though they were married in the mythology, they weren't married in the comic book mythology. So she always had a thing for him. He really didn't. He was always looking towards Earth and whatnot. And when Beta Ray Bill came along, she was interested in Beta Ray Bill instead of Thor. And it bothered Thor. And I thought that was, like, it made for great writing. It, it made for a great story. And then later on, that wound up not being the case and whatever. So you can almost say that she was a hammer chaser. She was a worthy chaser. <laughs> I'm going to just let that one go because I love the Lady Sif. And it's honestly my opinion that she just should just say the hell with it and freaking go off and just be like, what? Thor, psh, piss off. You chase me. All right. I'm I'm off doing my thing right now. I would love to see a, a, a Sif book just by itself. This is a good kind of start to it. And if anybody's going to write it, hey, why not have Walter Simonson write it? I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, it's great that he's writing this while at the same time he's also, this is just, you know, one shot. But it's great that he did this at the same time that issue number three of um, his Ragnarok comic book comes out, which is the Further Adventures of Thor, based on... His run on um, on Thor, just in the far-fetched future, when uh, Ragnarok was interrupted. Yeah, great book. Go and check out that review when it comes out later. Read the books. How about that? Do that instead. Do all of it. <laughs> so anyway, um, she has to face off kind of against a rock troll from the past called Thrud. Two Ds. T-H-R-U-D-D. -D. I find that to be especially interesting since anybody who's an aficionado of the Marvel, uh, excuse me, of the um, uh, Thor, uh, the, the, the Asgard in the Norse mythology, there you go. Um, I've, as of the past few days, I've been sitting down and going over stories with my six-year-old and my four-year-old sons about Norse mythology. So this is especially great to see this. But um, Thor and Sif in the mythology actually have three kids. There's Magni and Modi. Actually, um, Magni is from a giantess, not from um, not from a relationship with with um, Sif, but um, they have uh, Thor has Magni as a son. Uh, Thor and Sif both have uh, Modi as a son, and they have a daughter named Thrud. Yeah, that's actually how it's pronounced too. Thrud. Uh, it, 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 I just looked it up really quick. It means strength in Old Norse awesome but it's only with one d not with two so i'm positive that walter simonson knew this and just does this as a little bit of a oh check it out <laughs> oh wow that was it that was especially interesting to see anyway so this is an old enemy of thor you get to see thor when he was a little kid throwing rocks at a rock troll um, and, and just like this was, yeah, this was a fun story and further emphasizing the worthiness of Beta Ray Bill, a creation of Walter Simonson. God, I love whenever I see his name in comic books, man. Absolutely love it. Love it. 
Anyway, there are also two other stories in here that are also fantastic. Why am I not going to get into them? Because you need to go out and buy the book. <laughs> That's why. You need to go out and buy the book and show Marvel through your dollars that we want more Walter Simonson. That's it. No other reason. There is zero other reason, all right? Unless you also want to enjoy a really good story with some awesome art. I'm just saying. I'm just going to throw that out there. Anyway, guys, this was a freaking fantastic comic book. Oh, look at the time. 3.09. I'm going to go watch The Mandalorian. Love you guys. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.